to my channel. So today I want to create this look for you guys. This look, in case you haven't guessed it, is inspired by St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is on March 17th. And like I mentioned before, I get really excited for holidays, so I had to, I had to. So this is just a fun look if you're going to like a St. Patrick's Day festival or you know, something like that, then this look would be perfect for you. Or if you're like me and you just like to have fun with your makeup, go for it. And I did my nails to match. I'm so proud. It was like a ombre or an attempt to do an ombre. The last holiday that I did makeup for was of course Valentine's Day. So I will link those videos down below so you can check them out. And while you're checking out those other videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is absolutely free, just letting you know. Anyways, if you are interested in getting this look, then just keep on watching. So first, I'm just priming my lids with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and then I'm setting it down with this Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow in Creme Brulee. Next, I'm using this shade called Freak from my Electric Palette as my crease shade. And then right above that shade, I'm going to blend in the shadow Thrash from the same palette to create an ombre. For my lids, I'm first going in with this ColourPop and Kathleen Lights Super Shock Shadow in Telepathy. And then right in the center of the lids, I'm going to use the ColourPop Shadow in Get Lucky. Then taking my first ever eyeshadow palette, the 88 Color Palette by BH Cosmetics, I'm taking this bright green shadow and blending the lid and crease colors together. Now jumping into my newest palette, the Prism Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm taking the shade Throne and darkening the outer crease with it. And then for my bottom lash line, I'm just mirroring what I did on top. So first I'm going in with Thrash and then Freak and then Throne for the outer bottom lash line. For my brow bone and inner corner highlight, I'm using this Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in Rodeo Drive. Using my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner, I'm just creating a little wing. And then for my waterline and tightline, I'm using this dark green liner called Fast Lane by ColourPop. I wanted more gold to this look, so I decided to apply this gold liquid crystal liner by NYX right above my wing. For the sake of time, I went ahead and did my brows off camera. Um, if you're wondering, I used the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. Now I'm just curling my lashes and applying this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And my need for glitter was not yet sufficed, so I very lightly added some loose glitter to my lids using the NYX Glitter Glue. This glitter is called Pearl from BH Cosmetics and it actually has reflex of green. Moving on to the face, I'm using the Dr. Brandt Illuminizing Primer. And for foundation, I'm using the rest of my Sephora 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation. And I'm also blending in some Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. For concealer, I'm just using the huge Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. To set down the concealer, I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder. And to set down the rest of my face, I'm using the Physician's Formula Bronzer in Light Bronzer. Then I'm just going to quickly contour my face with this IBY Beauty Highlight and Contour Palette. For blush, I'm using this Physician's Formula Blush in Blushing Natural. And then for highlight, I'm using the Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive Highlight again. Now for the fun part, the lips. I am going to use the Serpentine Lipstick by Maybelline. For more dimension, I'm going to first take the shadow Freak and tap it in the middle of the lips. And then, in the center of that, I'm going to apply Rodeo Drive. I also decided to add these elf lashes for more drama and volume. 
And finally, I'm just going to set my face with the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray and the Project Beauty Setting Spray. All right, guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.